significant disaster occurs like the Nepal earthquake, many people want to help. And although there are a lot of legitimate charities that help relief efforts, scammers can often take advantage of these situations. Karen Stiles of our Call for Action team joining us live in the newsroom now. So Karen, how do you know if you're donating to a legitimate charity? Well, Courtney, keep in mind, most legitimate charities that work on these types of efforts will not call for a donation. They will most likely send something via U.S. Postal Mail. If you search for a well-known charity online, make sure that you visit only websites that end in .org. A lot of scammers will use lookalike websites that end in .com, and the fake websites will often have fuzzy graphics, spelling or grammatical errors, or other odd or vague information on the website. You can also check out charities with state and federal sources, such as the Wisconsin Department of Financial Institutions, the Better Business Bureau, or CharityNavigator.org. So Karen, if you do want to donate during a time of crisis, what's the best way to do that? Well, you can donate directly to the charity. Um, you can do this either by texting a donation th that will appear on your cell phone bill or by visiting the official website for the charity and making a donation online via a credit card. You can also mail a check, but it may take longer to be processed. Uh, all right, what do you do if you come upon a website or something that just looks fishy? Immediately notify the charity and state and federal consumer agencies so that they can take action and warn others. Stephen Courtney. Karen Stiles, thanks. Have a consumer problem, need some help? The Call for Action team is there for you. The number is 414-967-5495. You can also get help through the homepage at tmj4.com.